Good morning, everybody. Uh, so I have a, I don't know, kind of a different coffee thing here today that we're going to try. So this is, uh, I don't really know exactly how we're pronouncing this. Kuju? Kuju coffee, I guess, is what, what I'm going to call it. <laughs> so these are uh, interesting little pour-overs that... I mean, well, let's see, do we have a, we have a kind of a graphical representation here. So you have a little bag that you uh, somehow affix to the side of a cup and you just pour over water. So that's actually kind of cool. And uh, I think I got these at REI and, you know, I don't remember how much they were. I'll put a link down below if I can think about it. Um, but anyway, I got three different flavors. We're just going to taste test them all this morning and see how they are. So first we have our light roast, Angel's Landing, Floral Nutty Citrus. We have our, wow, I actually arranged those from light to dark and I didn't even, I didn't even think about that. Dang. Good job, brain. Uh, so we got our medium roast, Base Camp Blend, Oak chocolate honey notes and that mm, that actually sounds like it'd probably be my favorite and then we have the dark roast bold awakening earthy dark cocoa dried berries so yeah let's uh let's fumble through these and see if i can Ooh, that smells good that doesn't smell bad at all Okay, interesting. So these have like little cardboard uh, bracers. And then, oh, okay, weird. So do you rip off the entire top? Oh, okay. <laughs> We're learning together. So you rip off the top and that's a lot of ground. Dang. Okay, and then we put it on our cup like so. Wow. Uh, fancy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, sounds good. Hmm. This one doesn't smell as nice. Well, that's, that's pretty slick. I actually think that's pretty slick. We'll see how slick it is when I go to dump water on it. Because the only thing I'm wondering is how much, how these are going to hold on. And I guess just pour slow, right? Isn't that the whole point of like the pour over is kind of like pour, or uh, slow pour? I've never done pour over coffee. Uh, the fanciest I get is uh, French press, as you have already seen. Yeah, well, put that back. Put it back so I know which cup is which. I'm, uh, I'm pretty fascinated by this. If this works, this is a great idea. We'll see if it actually fits on this cup. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to pause, pause and get a, get a smaller cup. I guess I didn't really think about that, but, uh, won't really work on the, I mean, it'll work. I guess it'll work on the wide mouth, but it's, it's a little awkward. Well, no, you know what? I'm going to, this is my, this is my favorite coffee cup anyway, so we're going to use it. Okay, well, I've got hot water. Um, <laughs> I'm going to kind of go off the side here, and this seems like this would be a very slow process. Oh, wow, this is terribly slow. Um, hmm. So I don't know. I... I guess I kind of figure this is what would happen, but it is quite a slow, slow pour. You're basically doing very minute pours. I'm just going to get going on all of them. It's like, it's like I'm tending the garden, you know, just very slowly making my coffee pour by pour. Well, I'm sure this is all very terribly fascinating to you, but I'm going to go ahead and just, um, you know, do a quick pause and I will continue my pour over fancy pour over coffee journey here. And then by the time we come back, we'll have 
hopefully three cups of coffee, unless I throw it and break things. We'll be right back. Well, that was quite a journey. A um, couple things I learned. <clears throat> you want to use the smaller mouth cups. Uh, when I was doing the pour over in the wide, wider mouth cup, it kind of bunches up the apparatus <laughs> and it doesn't allow it to flow very well. I mean, I eventually got there, but I kind of had to, you know, pour some water in and then kind of hold it up a little bit, you know, so that it would form like it did in the other cups. But I, I mean, it doesn't take a long time. Uh, you know, and I have three cups of coffee, so there you go. Now, the big thing is, is, do they taste any good? So, we'll start with the Light Roast Angel's Landing here. Angel's Landing. I don't get it. Okay. Um. Hmm. It is, you do get a little of the nutty, and it, it's it's kind of bitter. Um, yeah, I mean, there's, I guess you could say there's a little bit of a citrus, citrus note in there. It's definitely nutty, but it's very bitter. Whew, very bitter. Um, I would probably say that that would benefit from, like, you know, a half a packet of cream and and a little bit of, uh, or a half a packet of sugar and maybe just a little bit of cream or milk or something. It's quite bitter. I'm not a huge fan of like super overly bitter coffees. Um, whatever. Let's try our base camp blend. This is our medium roast. Oh, okay. Actually, this is better. Wow, that's actually extremely smooth. And there is an element, an element of chocolate, just a small element, and then like a back end taste of honey. This is actually really good. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Wow. I don't know, I didn't have high hopes after that, but because I mean, generally, at least for me, the, a lot of the light roasts that I've ever gotten. <clears throat> you know, kind of don't have that bitter taste. That's so bitter, but that is uh, extremely smooth, very nice, and they're, they're all pretty full-bodied too, by the way. So both of these have been very full-bodied. The taste is there. God, that bitterness just kind of sticks with you. All right, let's try our Bold Awakening. <laughs> bold Awakening uh, Dark Roast. Whew, it doesn't smell good. I'll just say that, but, you know... Um, ooh, ooh. yeah, it's, it's very earthy. It's very earthy. Yeah, it's just, it's very earthy. There's, there's a note of bitter, but it's not as, it's not as bitter as that darn light roast, Angel's Landing. Um, it's actually not bad though. No, it's not very good. Uh, <laughs> it's um, it's just, it, it's very earthy. It's kind of feels like you're chewing on bark a little bit. Um, I it's it's not bad. I don't want to. Nah, it's it's not bad. It's fine. I could get away with that. Um, so I guess if I had to rank by like, base camp blend number one, bold awakening two, angels landing three, which I actually kind of didn't think that that was going to be the case. Um, yeah, I think, I think the, 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 excuse me, the base camp blend medium roast, that's one that's worth looking into. So anyway, cool apparatus. I'll probably try and maybe look for some more, uh, pour overs, but, uh, Kuju, I think it's something that you could look into. They do cite being ethically sourced, which I think is, uh, is very important. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe give her, give her a try. 
but hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Uh, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we will catch you on the next one. See ya.